Welcome to another Monster Code Pest. We'll be looking at um, a programming exam solution tutorial for the AQA 2012 Comp 1 exam. Um, this particular pest we'll be looking at how we can put a resume game option. At the moment, if we're playing the game, <coughs> then we can't resume the game if we go back to the main menu. So if I'm halfway through a game, I go to the main menu, my only option is to save the game and load it, which is perfectly okay. Or I could um, start a new game. Um, there's, there's a couple of ways of doing this, but the way I want to look at first is um, the one that is starting from scratch. I mean, to be honest with you, you could just set a little sequence that said to save the game, load the game, but... Um, let's assume we're not doing that. Let's assume that we're going to uh, start from scratch. So the first thing we need to do is at the main menu we need to see if there is a game in progress and the way I propose to do that is that we're just simply going to do a little test to see if the position of a particular cavern item and I'm going to use the monster position is equal to zero or not. Um, if it's equal to zero then it's it's not been it's not been assigned a value because zero isn't part of the cavern. The cavern goes from one to uh, seven or one to five in its default size. Um, so as long as the monster's position is not zero zero, then it, the game must be in progress. Um, and we're going to basically test that within a boolean function called game in progress. And if there is a game in progress, then we'll um, we'll basically allow the game to be resumed. Um, now if it's true, we need to do a couple of things. First thing we need to do is to have a fifth menu item. Uh, and in order to be able to test that or within the display menu, we need to be able to pass the monster's position to that so it can call the game in progress function. Um, now we don't need to call setup game, we just need to, to call the play game um, from that option. But that, that's what we're going to be doing next. So let's have a look at the code. And uh, we're starting uh, here. And the very, very first thing we're going to do is create a new function called game in progress. And this game in progress is a Boolean function. So it will return either true or false. So this is the function that will test is there a game in progress. And uh, we're going to be using the monster position. So we're going to ask for the monster position to be passed to this function as a cell reference because that's what we're going to test. We're going to test whether it's 0, 0 or not. Um, so here's the little if statement. If monster position number of cells east is not 0, then game in progress will equal true, else game in progress will equal false. So basically this function will return true or false based on whether the monster's position has been assigned a value within the cavern or not. And that's it. It doesn't need to do anything else, this function. Really neat, really clean. Um, I'm going to need to make sure I pass it the monster position value though, so um, we'll just need to remember to do that. Right, let's create a new fifth menu item. And if I leave it like this, it will always be visible. So uh, what we're going to do is put it in an if statement. So I'm going to say if game in progress and monster position, then do this. I'm just sticking it as a simple one line if statement so that this will only be displayed, this uh, resume game option, if this function returns true. Um, I suppose I could have put equals true, but you don't need to because it's saying if this is true. That's how it works. So... Um, the only problem is that this monster position isn't doesn't have scope within this procedure. So it's actually going to produce a, an error. In fact, you can see look, name monster position is not declared. So I need to make sure that I ask for that to be passed. So now this is the um, parameter that I'm requiring for this and that's now made that okay. The only problem is of course I'm not actually passing monster position into the display menu so let's do that now. So where display menu is called I've just added monster position 
um, and within the main sub procedure monster position is declared so thankfully monster position is declared there it will get passed into here uh, it will get passed into here it will then get passed into here and this will return true or false so now I've made sure that my parameter has scope in all of the places I need. Obviously I didn't need to keep the same name, but for this sort of um, trickle of parameters, it makes sense to have the same name, just so that it's really clear what I'm testing. Um, so this is all well and good, but unfortunately I don't have a um, section in the... Uh, processing of the menu choice that actually allows for it. I don't have a fifth case statement so we need to add this now. So let's go up to here and um, add a fifth case statement. Now I don't want this to be processed if there's a mistake, if someone accidentally hits five. Now obviously my validation could handle that but I'm just going to make it um, a little if statement in here because I don't want to have to rely on validation for, for this to, to work because it might be that we're not going to do that validation. So all I'm going to do is have it so that this case statement here will only be processed if game in progress is true. So uh, there's my if statement and oh, my call is simply the play game. So it will own, the play game will only be um, called if it's five and if game's in progress. I'm not going to bother making that explicit in the logic. That's true because I've got a case equal to 5, so if someone hits 5, this little block here will only be run if game in progress happens to be true. Uh, if it's not true, I'll just add a little user feedback to say that no game is currently in progress. So it's not really validation, it's simply just deciding whether or not to, um, to actually call that procedure. Uh, and believe it or not, that is the whole thing. Um, I don't really need to call this setup game because all the values are already assigned. I only need to sort of put play game. So let's test that. Okay, the first thing I want to do is to uh, check that option 5 isn't being shown by default, which it's not. I want to make sure that if I hit 5, it says no game currently in progress, which it does, which is lovely. Right, let's go create a new game. And let's go um, east. Right, I've moved once, that's all I need to do now. Let's go back to the main menu, and hopefully there is a fifth option for resume game. If I hit for number five, it takes me back to exactly the same place I was before. So that little sequence has worked nicely. Just to quickly recover what we did, uh, we created a function called game in progress, which returns true or false, and that all that did was check to see if there was a monster position um, that was non-zero, because by before the game is run, monster position is just zero. That's just the standard initialization value um, when a integer is declared. Um, if it's not zero, i.e. it has been assigned a value, then um, we set this game position to equal true, so this will return true, or it's false. And then we use that function in two different places. The first place we use it is the main menu, where we'll only display a fifth resume game option if the game in progress is true. And finally, the processing of that menu, where we put a fifth case statement, where we will simply go back to play the game um, and again that only gets run if game in progress is equal to true. So that's pretty belt and braces and I think that's neater than loading, saving the game loading the game um, in order to get back to it. I hope that makes sense and I look forward to talking you through another programming exam solution tutorial soon.